Sports merchandise. It's how we let people know what teams we like and is a way to show support towards players and teams. Some just buy a few t-shirts, and others have a closet full of jerseys they have spent years collecting. Either way, we are both fans. And these things used to be cheaper, higher quality, and more accessible. But one company has been working towards monopolizing sports apparel. Fanatics. The main thing people complain about with Fanatics is their jerseys. Jerseys are big business in sports. It allows you to support a specific player along with your team. For some, jersey buying is a personal thing, and you used to be able to walk into a Target, Walmart, or Meijer and buy one. They wouldn't be high quality jerseys, but they would still be a jersey. One that you can make last. My mom has a Pavel Datsuk jersey that is older than me, but still in great condition that she got from Meijer. But with Fanatics, almost all jersey sales go through them. And they know that. They jack up the price, and on top of that, take forever to restock. I've been waiting months for them to restock FC Cincinnati jerseys to get a Brandon Vasquez one. Yeah, you can customize a jersey with a player's name on it for 20 extra dollars on top of the 150 to 170 you are already spending. And it's a lower quality product. These are not the Reebok jerseys of old that were less expensive and nicer quality. These are expensive with declining quality. And for all products, the shipping is crazy. Basic shipping costs $10. That's the cheapest shipping with a handling fee on top of that. And their stuff normally ships from Kentucky or Florida. I live in Indiana. That shipping should not cost 10 bucks. I understand that inflation has drove up the price of consumer goods, but still, 150 for a baseball and basketball jersey, 170 for hockey jerseys, 120 for football and soccer jerseys, and that's the cheapest for those jerseys. The high-end ones are now up to over 200 bucks, and more team stores are run through Fanatics. Thankfully, the Pacers team store is not set up by Fanatics and ran through the Pacers organization because the shipping is cheap and the jerseys are a little less pricey as well. I'm not asking for a lot here. Instead of 150 for a basketball jersey, do 130. You can even keep the crazy high shipping, but take 15 to 20 bucks off the price and you will see more people buy jerseys. You will make a decent profit. If a jersey costs 50 bucks to make and you sell it at 130, you make $80. That's a good profit. It's better than people going to DH Gate and only spending $20 on a jersey instead. Maybe the people running Fanatics don't understand that the average person can't always afford a $150 jersey. Like I've said before, the core audience of sports is working class Americans. You need this stuff to be accessible to them. If it is, they will ultimately spend more money because they like your prices and they will buy more products. This is simple marketing. Make people think they are saving money and barter good faith with them. I don't shame people for buying fake jerseys. I might even encourage it because Fanatics needs to be sent a message that this monopolization of jerseys is wrong. I love collecting jerseys. I use it to show support to players that I feel a personal connection with or a player that I like. I want others to be able to do that as well. If you want a jersey but can't afford it, go to DHgate. It's cheap, and if you take care of the jersey, it will last you just as long. If you shame people for buying fake jerseys, stop being an elitist and let other people enjoy things.